Yo, 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 just checking the sound. How's it going? How's it going? <clears throat> All right. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're all doing well. It's been a little bit, hasn't it? Today's going to be a fun one. I've been spending the last two or three days um, stealing Idris's, and I've got it down pretty well. And I thought it would be fun to kind of go over it on a stream. Show you that, guys, how easy it actually is. Doesn't take a lot of effort. Um, there's two different ways of doing it. One's a little bit harder, I guess. The other one's a little bit easier. We're going to do the easy one. Because I think that's the one that most people would want to do. Or be more interested in. The difference between them is... Let's see, the easy one, you have no NPC gunners. And the hard one, you do. So... 
because in the easy one, the reason why it's easy is because we're going to do a little trick that gets the NPCs to uh, despawn from everywhere. That way you can just fly right up and steal it. So that's gonna ha that's how it's gonna work. I'll show you guys in detail what to do. For anybody right now that's kind of wondering like how it's gonna happen, I'll tell you right now. Just you know, just so you kind of get the idea of what we're gonna be doing. Um, the idea is to grab a Carrick. Carrick is the easiest way. Nomad is kind of hard. I found uh, it's taking me significantly longer to find a good sweet spot with the, the Nomad, but you need a Carrick or an 890 jump. And we're going to accept a critical threat beacon. We're going to fly to it in the middle of quantum. You're going to abandon the mission in your Moby glass. Upon arrival, you're going to immediately target the Idris and turn around and fly 75 kilometers away. 75 to 80 kilometers away. You Your target will disappear around 40 kilometers away. But fear not. All you got to do is just turn around exactly where you came from. Um, keep going backwards a little bit. And then when, when you think that you have gone that far, you're going to go ahead and just go ahead and go forwards. And you will notice that the Idris and all the other ships that are around will, all the NPCs will despawn. And you can just go up there with your ship and take it. Do whatever you want with it. So that is what we are going to be doing today. As long as the servers don't act up. I've been having really good luck with getting in. It seems like this is a pretty decent patch. 18.1. So, I'll go ahead and try it. Getting loaded up into the game. Switch it over. All right. I have really good luck with Australia servers, so I'm going to go for that. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer them the best I can. But I've done this a lot in the past three days, so got it down pretty good. You can do this, by the way, as long as you're prepared. You can do this in about 10 minutes. You really streamline it. But you have to grind your way up in critical, uh, or not critical, but the uh, combat assistance beacons. And first to even have those appear, you have to do a couple bounty hunter missions. And yeah, after after you do a couple bounty hunter missions, you'll start seeing the combat assistance beacons pop up. And once they start popping up, you don't have to do too many. Um, I think if you do about seven or eight beacons which you can do back to back really fast as long as you have a decent fighter um Welcome knock them out the and then you'll start seeing the critical threat Five. beacons when you get to five stars rep which i will show you guys Welcome all of that here soon okay make sure i get my carrick ready
Oh, wait. There it is. I got a little scared. I was like, where's my carrot? Didn't see it. We have our Carrick. Alright, so let's open up our Moby Glass here. I need to go get some water. We have service beacons. Right here, you can see already you have a critical threat. This is what you want. This is for the Idris. You don't want to be too far away from it though. Right here, it tells you how far away you are. If you're too far away, like if you're on the other side of the system from it, you will fail it because somebody will kill the person you're supposed to protect. This is your, uh, the rating that's required. Five stars. If you hover your, uh, mouse pointer over the view contract ratings up on the top right, you'll see how many stars you have. So for anybody who doesn't know, this is another way you gain rep. Uh, but this is way easier. So you do these, oh, there's another critical threat. So that's good. We got plenty. If I had some other people with me right now, I would be able to get every single critical threat beacon that pops up. I can get someone in there and we can have a battle. So hopefully somebody will pop into the, uh, the discord here. We can have ourselves an interest battle. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to grab it yet. But I am going to grab... Welcome to the ASOP vehicle. We get the in a hangar. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar 12. All right. Before we do that, I need... I'm going to go to the med bay. And fix my hunger and thirst. Don't need to be dying in the middle of flying this thing. Room 5. Come on. There we go. Oh, let me, uh, let me bring up... The uh, display info. Did that work? Did I do it wrong? R underscore display info three. There we go. All right. I must have messed it up somehow. What do we got? What do we got? Wow, my frame rate is pretty bad. Average server frame rate of like nine, eight. Oh, it's because of the free fly. It's normally not this bad. Oh boy, free flies are good. Hope everybody's enjoying the free fly. Good to go. Let's get to it. Let me see my... Oh, that was weird. Alright, I have everything. Cool. You know, I've been playing this game for about three years now, three and a half maybe, and um, this stealing an Idris was definitely one of those things that was daunting and it was like the last thing that I, I, I've done everything in the game you can think of, 
And this is the last thing I haven't done. And, uh... Three days ago, I told myself I was going to go ahead and get off my ass and learn it. It's, it's the same thing I did with, uh, learning the, uh... Yeah, Hangar 12. Learning the jail route. Escape route. I, uh... Not really good at platforming, but I made myself learn it. And, uh, I know it by heart now. But yeah, I've, I think I've crossed off everything on my Star Citizen bucket list. I think the, the, bot, uh, the, the very top of it was fly a capital ship. Fly the Idris, and I did that. So, pretty happy. Now, the goal is to steal as many as I can and put it in as many different situations as possible to see uh, what can happen. What's nice about bringing a Carrick along for this journey is if uh, anything happens, I'll just spawn right back into the ship and I don't have to go all the way back like a station or a planet come on open the door yes thank you thank you oh now we're getting 80 FPS good Uh, which way is forward? I'm totally backwards now. Wait, where's the, uh, hold on. Nope. I think it's back this way. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Call it the door. Habitation. Set our regen to the Carrick. Confirm. All right. I will be making like a how-to video on how to do this too that's a little bit more streamlined and has all the fat cut off. But I will make sure I... One thing I really want to focus on in the video is to show everybody, make sure they see how to park the Carrick underneath the Idris. So that way they don't spend like an hour trying to figure that out because that took me a while. And that's something that a lot of people, I think all the other videos I've seen on how to steal this thing, they they cut that out part uh, they cut that part out completely. And I don't know why because that's like the most difficult part to do um when you've never done it. So the fact that there's like an easy way to do this in a hard way, I'll probably make, I think I'll make two videos, one highlighting the easy way and, the, and then uh, one highlighting the hard way. Let's hope nobody fucks with us, huh? Alright, we are ready to accept the critical beacon. I am accept 81,000 kilometers. Thank you. And please visit again. Now, when you accept these, it takes a while for it to actually pop up. You'll see the notification, but you gotta wait for the audio for the mission to play. You'll see someone. I'm under there you go. Please, if you hear this, help me. 
Sometimes that takes like a whole five minutes for that thing to pop up. Alright. So, in the middle of quantuming to this beacon, we have to abandon it. Before we get there. Damn, I forgot how... How long it takes for this thing to spool up. Alright. Oh. There we go. We're going to... Abandon this bad boy. Alright, we have arrived. Okay, we need to find the Idris and get the fuck out of here. I believe it's this bad boy right here. Whoa, whoa, come on. There we go. Is that the Idris? That is the Idris. Let's get out of here. Now, targeting the Idris, you can see a top right MFD. Oh wait, that's the Cutlass Black. Son of a bitch. <laughs> That's not the address. <laughs> All right, let me let me turn around. Let me turn around. We gotta do this again. What is this? Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Okay. All right. Well. I don't know where the, uh... That is odd. This should not happen. Let's see. What are we missing here? Are we missing a... Let's keep flying forward. Scan. Well, normally it's there. If we don't find it, we'll just accept a different one. And of course, I don't have any missiles or anything. That's the downside of the Carrick. Yeah, we're gonna have to accept a different one. I think something happened to the, uh, the Idris. It didn't spawn in like it's supposed to. That is the first time this has happened in like a dozen times <laughs> that I've done this. My back shield's a little... off. What the fuck, man? Alright, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna jump, and we're gonna accept a different one. Oh, I'm jammed. We gotta get out of the area before we can uh, get out of here. I think the Idris despawned itself before we got there somehow. to not be jammed. It's funny how it, it jams your signal even though you don't have the mission. Let's see, is there another one? We should get, if we wait around a little bit, we should get another one. Let's go ahead and jump. Alright, we're good. Now we just gotta wait for another critical beacon to pop up, which they should pop up relatively soon. 
and we will try that again. Hopefully the edges actually spawns in next time. Got a moderate, high, and low. These pay really good. Uh, if you have a good ship, you can chain these one by one. Or if you have uh, a couple people with you, each one goes off and does one on their own. You guys share it between everybody. And uh, when you get to these high threat ones some of these are worth 200,000 or yeah 200 200k so you start getting those in racking up the money pretty fast okay I'm gonna go back to Hurston That was so weird that the Idris didn't even spawn in. I'm wondering if it, it's the server, maybe. Usually there's a lot of really good um, beacons around Hurston and Microtech. Moderate threat. Okay. Something interesting too is I uh, haven't, no matter how many of these you abandon, it doesn't seem like it affects your rating. So um, it doesn't like lower or anything like normal rep. Okay, another moderate. We're gonna get another critical here soon. We'll keep an eye out. I'm gonna fly around until we see it. Looks like the, the beacons kind of went away, coming over here. That's fine. That is weird. Let's head out to Aberdeen. Make our way to all the moons and see not sure if that helps with picking these missions up, but 
I think if we get away from like the bigger areas on the server, it might help our odds of the game wanting to spawn a critical beacon. Show me the beacons. Wait here. It seems like the beacons are by Hurston. <sighs> we'll wait for them to pop up as they come. Now, when the critical threat beacons start popping in, you have to get them fast because they do disappear and other people can take them. excited there we got two highs okay it's getting a little better it's not taking too long for these things to come in so that's promising if i was in a fighter i'd go ahead and take some of these uh these high threat combat assistance beacons see the notification um trying to think of what we can do in in the meantime while we're waiting mm, i want to be see the thing is if we do anything while we're waiting for a critical beacon we have to stay in the area and we have to do something that 
lets us be ready in a moment's notice. But yeah, um, I'll go over it again though, what, what, how you get to this point. So you're going to, for anybody that hasn't, didn't hear yet, um, you do, when you, when you, going in this fresh, you're going to want to grind some bounty hunter missions if you haven't done it yet. And once you start seeing these beacons pop up, you're going to take these, you're going to start off with low threat. And you're gonna take those. Uh, you're probably gonna do four of them, four or five of them, six of them, until you get to about five stars. And then you're gonna do like two moderate or high threat beacons, and you'll have five stars. And then, then that's when you'll get the critical. So it takes about an hour to grind everything out to get to this part. Look at that sunset. It's actually a really nice sunset off of Hurston. It's got some uh, cool colors coming off. Come on, baby. Give us the good stuff. Yeah, the beacons went away. All right, we're gonna continue to fly around. See, let's go to Magda. Well, we gotta go around it, so we'll go to Ariel first. Man, we would have had it the first time. It's weird how the server didn't even spawn in the Idris. It was very odd. Another high threat. Servers down to like five, five FPS. Uh, damn. What do we got? No beacons over here.
I love how Magda looks. One of my favorite moons. Beacons. Damn, man. Let's go to Ita. Hopefully we'll get one to pop up here in a minute. They usually come in pretty quick once they do. So hopefully we can accept a beacon and then hopefully this time it'll actually spawn in. I'm wondering if uh, server performance really depends on whether it spawns in or not. Alright, let's take a look at beacons again. Where are we at? Okay, we don't got any beacons over here. I head back to, uh... Head back to Hurston. It's really just a waiting game until we get a critical threat beacon pop in, and, uh, yeah. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Thank you for hopping in the chat. I hope you're doing well. Right now, we're just waiting for a critical threat beacon to pop, pop up. So that way we can go there, abandon it, and uh, get the NPCs to despawn out of the Edris and then take it. And once we get the beacon and the Edris pops up, it should be relatively fast to take it. We just need this thing in our Moby Glass. Oh, man. All right. I really want to go and do other things until this thing pops up. But the issue is I want to be prepared because it only takes a couple seconds for the critical beacons to be taken up by someone else. And I don't want that chance to happen. Uh, we got another low. Pop up. And we need to be ready at a moment's notice. And we can't go too far from Hurston because the mission will fail if you take too long to get there. So that's the only thing. We're at the uh, the boring stage at the moment, unfortunately. But once one pops up and we accept it, we should get pretty uh get into get into the, the, the cool stuff. There's a free fly going on right now, so that could be impacting how many beacons pop up. I think, uh... I'm gonna keep flying around. Keep flying around. We're bound to have one here any minute. It's funny because you could you could sit there and not get any for however long, and then all of a sudden you'll get three or four all at once. Which is pretty crazy. 
How server performance in dot one missions still take time to show up? Um, server performance is better than it was. I mean, right now the server FPS is around. What is it? Average is like eight or nine. But uh, but yeah, it still takes a minute for missions to pop up. But other than that, I've had um, really good luck with everything so far. I've had minimal bugs. I played all day yesterday, and uh, I didn't have any 30Ks. Um, I think I had one crash to desktop. But, um, I, I've strictly been only doing the, um, combat assistance beacons and the and bounty hunting missions, and those have been performing very well. Those have been completing. Or, uh, bummer. <laughs> Come on, baby! We'll keep it moving. We'll keep it moving. I don't even know if this, like, helps at all. You never know. Seems like there's different beacons whenever I, um... Whenever I move around to a different location. My screen cut off? I think my screen's cut off on the uh, stream on the right. Yeah, it looks like it a little bit. Damn. Bound to come up at some point. I got excited there for a second. All right, while we're waiting for this beacon to pop up, I'm going to switch back over to this. And I'm going to try to fix the screen real quick. Oh, you know what? I have to have it on this scene to fix it. Give me one second. There we go. Just had to resize everything. It looked like it got messed up. There we go. Alright, we have another high that popped up. You just QT back and forth between Microtech and Crusader and have pretty good luck. Oh, for the, uh, the beacons to pop up? Hurst, Hurston has been really, really good the last couple days. And the uh, PTU and uh, PU. Well, we, we can try going to Microtech. Definitely do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, now you guys can actually see the display info in the corner. See how the servers are doing. I have a pretty monster PC. <laughs> so, it t usually takes the... It takes handling of the bugs and Star says really well. Got a little bit of time. Go for a little joy walk. It's gonna make it. That was weird. So we're going to be coming out this way when we actually do get the mission. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, it's not going to be this way. It's actually going to be... Went to the wrong one. Wait, no, I didn't. Gotta go. Oh no, it is that airlock. It has to be that airlock up there. I'm almost positive. It's so weird. Yeah, so we're going to be using this. So you're going to walk out on here. And you're going to be able to stand on this, which is going to give you the ability to flip through the pilot. The, the um... The, the... The cockpit. In that 113 FPS in Quantum, that'd be nice to have that everywhere else. Let's see how far away we are. Damn! 
know we got a long ways. All right, maybe just stick to Microtech when we get there. Try our luck. This is the part where it's good to be in there with friends because you guys can split up. Yeah, stock QT and the Carrick is slow. Yeah, I haven't had the chance to upgrade anything in the game yet, which is definitely going to be my next next thing I do. Right now, I'm just grinding up the money. But right now, I have... It's hard to see that. 1,200,000 UEC, and that was from grinding out uh, me and the buddies, we took the Idris out and we, we just kept going for the critical beacons and the high threat beacons one after the other. We made a lot of money doing that. The, did they full wipe? Like they said, yes, they did. Yep. They definitely full wiped. Um, there was a couple people I know that got lucky and maybe had a couple like maybe like a ship that they bought uh, before the wipe and somehow got missed through the wipe, but everybody else got wiped. And then there's going to be another one with 18.2, which should come out, should go live here maybe in a week or two. It needs to come out and they need to test the second wipe or not the second wipe. They, they, they need to test the second patch before Invictus, which is going to be uh, around the 20th of May. Somewhere in the second half of May, they haven't said yet. And that one is bringing in 319. And they haven't said if they're going to do a wipe for 319 at all. But if you guys don't want to get your hopes up, or, or if you guys don't want to be disappointed, I would definitely, for every single patch, just get in that frame of mind of always thinking there's going to be a wipe with it. You haven't played in a week? Yeah. Hey, that's healthy. That's healthy. Take breaks, man. Take breaks. If you need longer than that, go for it. Because this, this game does uh, test our patience a lot. <laughs> yeah, for, full wipe for dot one and dot two. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the, uh, for anybody that doesn't know the explanation between, or, um, the explanation for the reason why they did a free fly and put out 18.1 before 18.2 instead of just going straight to two is because point two isn't ready yet. And that has all the real fixes. Point one is, was literally a patch just to get people the ability to log in to the game and actually just play. Point two is going to have all the real uh, fixes to the things that we need. So they're spending a little bit more time on it. And uh, the fact that they announced a wipe with point two, nobody is getting into 18.1 to play the game at all. So their way around that, because they need, they need testers, is they went ahead and just said, Hey, we're going to do a free fly. That way they get enough people, enough influx of people coming in to test the servers. So that way, hopefully all that data will go into making 18.2 better and, uh, fix all the things that we need fixed. And then with 319, which we'll have Invictus at the end of May, um, 319 is going to be based off of 
the 318 code base. So it's essentially going to be 318 with a lot of really cool features in it. That way they don't mess anything up. They want to keep the integrity. They, they want to fix 318 and keep that integrity as long as they can. Um, so probably with like 320, it I don't think 320 will be based off of the 318 code base. It'll probably be its own thing. And have its own set of problems. <laughs> But it shouldn't it shouldn't have as many issues as 318 did. How far are we? Almost there. Almost there. Hopefully we have better luck over here. But I think, I think more people spawn at New Babbage than, uh, Hurston, Lorville. The only bug, <clears throat> the only bug you ran into in 318 is not being able to leave your Drake ship seats as a male character when female, went female and haven't had, haven't been stuck since. Yeah, that's, that, that's been a thing. For different ships for a long time i know i know the prospector had that issue where you couldn't get out of your seat or there's an issue getting out of your seat for the longest time and people's workaround for that was having a female character i don't know if that's been fixed for the prospector i don't fly it ever but that that kind of sucks that it's carried over to other ships now you said that was your what what ship was it brandon oh we don't got any beacons over here oh wait, yeah we do we got three moderate. All right. Um, let's head to Calliope. Still waiting for that critical threat beacon to pop up. It's the only thing we're waiting on. It always pops up when you're not ready, but when you are ready, it doesn't want to pop up. So maybe, maybe I should pretend, you know, maybe I should, uh, pretend to go fuck off somewhere. And then the game will all of a sudden pull it up. Oh, all Drake ships besides the Buccaneer, the Vulture, Corsair, Cuddy. Wow. I haven't had that issue. I have the Corsair, the Vulture, and the Cutlass Black, and the Cutlass Red. I haven't had any of those issues. There's been some issues with people um, where the seats were killing them. And for, uh, for a lot of ships. And I haven't seen that yet. So that's pretty interesting. Oh man, I saw that high. I got excited. No worries, no worries. We'll get there, we'll get there. We'll head to Cleo. I'll also have timestamps after we're done with the stream. So that way people can just, um, get to the good parts because I this who knows how long this might take to actually get this thing to pop up high threat prospector used the randomly used to randomly kill me when entering it but haven't had that since 315 oh that's good it's been quite a while since 315 so 
there's that. Quite dramatic music for doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> again. <clears throat> nothing. Nothing, nothing. We might have to just stick around Microtech instead of going to the moons. And we'll just be patient. What's my favorite ship in game or concept? Um, it's a little bit of a hard question, but um, it's gonna be—it's not gonna be an original answer. It's—it's it's probably gonna be the uh, Banu Merchantman. I really like the. Um, I really want more alien races. I want—I want more of that. Um, I want them to really like start updating more of the lore behind it. I, I'm, I'm a lore buff when it comes to Star Citizen, so... The org that I made is all based on that. On the, the Banu thing. Moderate. Yeah, the Banu Merchantman... I really like the Kraken. Just how it looks. Um... But I don't know, you know? Sometimes... Sometimes ships, as they come out, they surprise me. But it, it, it changes a lot because it used to be the, the Corsair was my number one. And then when that came out, I used it a lot and then there wasn't really much you could do with it in games. So it was kind of like, then it changed. Personal transport, huh? I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Looks like a duck to you? Yeah. It's definitely uh, odd looking, but I, I love the odd looking ships. That's why I like the Corsair so much. And uh, a lot of Star Wars ships are asymmetrical and look kind of odd, which I really love. Man, it is taking a long time to get this thing coming up. What's your favorite, uh, Brandon? What's your favorite ship? I really, uh, I'm one of those people where I've spent enough on the, uh, enough on ships for the game where, um, I can melt things and pretty much buy whatever I want and switch around. So I like to buy things, try it out in game. And then whichever ones I don't use or see having a purpose in the future, I, uh, 
I switch them around very, very often around ship sails and stuff like that. So. Oh, only a low. Only a low. The car to all? No, dude. I'm not laughing. That's a really cool ship. I like it too. The maneuverability on that thing is really nice. I just wish it was a, uh, a better fighter. I don't like the struts on the cockpit, though. That's the only thing is... Uh, that's one of those ships I would really like to take when I'm exploring or trying to find something specific and um but I mean it's just not a good view from there if I'm trying to spot specific landmarks to get to a location it just uh just doesn't do it for me but I I, I do like the ship though transformation that it has really really cool oh and you said a Pisces yeah, I, I really like, so my, my daily drivers is, uh, the, uh, rescue Pisces, uh, the, the Corsair and the Gladius. Those are my three favorites. The Gladius is really nice because it just gives you the illusion that everything is polished because it's just so nice to fly that thing. You have almost $600 in game and never keep any ship for long. Um, always melt them, try different ones. Yeah, yeah. It's a good strategy. I've spent a lot more than you, buddy. <laughs> I've, uh, I've spent about um, a little over 5,000 in game. So I'm guilty. Guilty of uh, not having any sort of control over my impulses. I'm better now, though. I'm better now, though. I, I got to that point where I see that I don't have to buy anything. And I could just shuffle things around, and, and then I'm just good. I'm good. I was looking up the specs of the Polaris because that was one of the one of the ships that I just didn't know anything about. And after looking it up, it's it's made me really want to buy that at the next sale, but I'm gonna I'm gonna hold strong. I think I'm gonna hold strong. One K is your goal, so I don't need a, a package anymore. Yeah? Yeah, that's, that's, I, I say that's, that's pretty good. Become con concierge and then just stop spending money. I'm a subscriber too, so 
Um, the cool thing about the being a subscriber is that 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 money spent on the subscriber is uh, it goes towards your concierge as well. So if you uh, let me see how much that is a year, because I'm kind of curious. See. It's two hundred and forty dollars a year. Oh wait. Yeah. Two hundred and forty dollars a year. Just from uh subscribers. Also, buyback tokens. Uh, yeah. Reset. We get them every quarter. You just have to use them or else you end up losing them. You only get like two. I believe you only get to keep two throughout the year if you don't use them. I have so many ships in my buybacks. Um, one that I really want to buy back right now is um, the Endeavor. I had I have the Endeavor Master set in there, and then uh, I have a three hundred dollar Banu Merchantman that's also in there. That uh, I have a friend who claimed it though, so he's just saving up some money for it. I apologize, everybody, for the wait on uh, actually getting to the part of getting to the Idris. But it's all about getting this mission to pop up. That's all it is. Once you got that, you're golden. The last three days, it pops up super fast. And then, for whatever reason, today, it's it might be the free fly that we just have a massive influx of people that this mission is uh, having a little bit of a hard time coming in. How far are we? Oh, Lord. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we play we play SC we should have some patience oh man you would think you'd be surprised though you would be surprised the people that don't have patience and they play star citizen regularly that's uh that's a rough life that is a rough life you need to go go read some uh self-help books or something <laughs> Get it a difference. Go play some Souls, uh, Souls games. Go play Elden Ring or something, and get your mind used to the disappointment of losing all the time, and then transfer that over to the bugs of Star Citizen. You're good. You're good. Cause I, uh, I used to have that issue of getting frustrated all the time with this game, and then I went and played. An, I went and played Elden Ring, and that was my first Souls game I played. After playing that and beating it. Uh, I came back to Star Citizen and I didn't get frustrated no more. That was gone. It was like cured. So the uh, yeah. They would never be a Jedi. Absolutely. Yeah. Got to learn meditation. Become one with the force in order to get through these bugs. But I don't know what it has been. I don't. I don't know what's been up lately. But I've been enjoying the game a lot more 
than I have in the past. Usually I play the game and I can only do it for a couple days and then I got to take like a week break. <laughs> but now, uh, since 318 has been pretty good, I've been wanting to get in every day. Love the soft games. Uh, Bloodborne is still number one. I tried playing that. Um, when Elden Ring was announced, I tried to go back and play some of the other uh, games, and I, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Elden Ring was was different for me. You tell, tell your wife that SC is the uh, metaverse. Yeah, might as well be. Why not? I think this song that's playing right now, I think it's like one that has like a like a really slow build up and then it just gets insane at the end. It just goes hard for no reason. Brandon, you tell your wife that you buy uh, Star Citizen ships. That's always a fun conversation to have with people. To uh, hear hear everybody's girlfriends and wives' reaction to when they first caught them buying a Star Citizen ship. We're just going to stare right into the ass of this thing. I think if, uh, if women buy makeup, Spend spend hundreds of dollars hundreds of dollars on makeup. We should be able to spend hundreds of dollars on uh, JPEGs. Hey, we're coming up on it. Bottom drive is now up. All right, let's see what they got for us. All right, nothing yet. I wonder if people are grabbing these. Uh, I'm gonna go hit the mid bed real quick. My thirst is down 50% for some reason. I haven't even done anything. It's weird, the thirst in the PTU was a lot slower. Moderates. Jesus Christ, man. I don't know how we got lucky with getting a critical beacon right in the start, and then they just don't want to pop up anymore. But of course, that one, the Idris didn't spawn in, so that one doesn't really count. If 
I didn't tell her, I'd be 10k in and probably 6 feet in the ground. <laughs> I would repo your house. Ooh, fuck, man. Come on. Come on. Stop playing games with me. I'm not giving up. I will be on her all night if I have to. But I'm gonna do it. I will wait for this beacon to pop up. I really wish they still had the EPTU up because I had my rep grinded up and nobody would be playing in the EPTU. So I would have free reign on all the uh, service beacons. And the servers perform a little bit better. That way the free fly wouldn't be impacting anything. Just need one. I think I have better chances of just chilling here. Seeing if it comes up. Rather than just moving around everywhere. Seems like there's more influx of beacons coming in around Hurston. Looks like they're doing Xeno Threat Friday and Saturday on the PTU and Jump Town on Sunday. I might have to play around with that. I might uh I might take an interest to those events and see what happens. That might be pretty interesting. Xeno Threat with stealing, stealing an address and going to Xeno Threat, that would be really, really cool. Jump down too, but I would need to. Uh, I would need to get a good crew together for that one. God oh, damn! Why do I got the fucking Jaws music going on? Jump Town Siege of Orson, yeah. Siege of Orson, that'd be that'd be uh, a weird one to do. But it'd be kind of cool to see how Stolen Idris would do around all those turrets. Because I'd be able to take them out one by one. Because you could actually destroy them. So that'd be a good thing, because I don't think those turrets would be able to get through the shields of the Idris. So, that'd be really cool. Do that, and then people would do. Oh, there's a high. Fuck. If I had some gunners, I would go do some of these combat assistance missions. I got an idea. I have an idea. What I'm going to do is I don't want to just sit here. Might take forever, so that's boring. Um, 
I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. So I'm gonna park this thing at Everest Harbor. I'm gonna get out, uh... I'm gonna get out of a fighter. And we're gonna do some beacons, because maybe if I do some beacons, the critical will, uh... pop up. I will go to the critical beacon with my fighter. And I'll... Yeah. I'll go there, I'll get the NPCs to spawn off of the Idris, and then... What I'll do is I'll park my ship right next to the Idris, and I'll kill myself. I'll go ahead and backspace. That way I have a red beacon, a red marker, going to that location. That way I won't get lost. And I'll spawn back at the station, grab the carrot, and go to my dead body. I think, I think that's going to be a better solution. Critical! Wait, wait. We got it. I say all that and all of a sudden a critical pops up. We got it. Alright. Let's hope the Idris spawns in this time. Where's this thing at? Holy shit, thank god it came up. Alright, we're just waiting for it to... Waiting for the audio to start playing. Because that's when the marker will show. Uh, I really hope the edge spawns in this time. I'm actually worried about that now. I didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Oh. Go to Croc. I've got pirates all over me. I need assistance here. Woo. Here we go, boys. It's game time. Luck of the Carrick. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ah. Go to the accepted tab. Abandoned mission. Oh, please spawn. Oh, hell yeah. That is a Cutlass Black. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Oh, we got one on the right. What is, what is this? Please be the Idris. It's usually by itself. What is this? The Idris, yes, yes. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm excited. I love doing this shit. All right, so on the top right screen, you can see how far away from the Idris you are. We need to get... We need to get um, 75 kilometers away. We're gonna lose track of them around 40 kilometers. Which is okay, because we're just going to turn right back around the same way uh, you can see here. They're right behind us. You can't see them. As long as you go in a straight line. And then you're going to use your pip to turn all the way back around the way you came. We're at 40 kilometers. Okay, so we should lose sight of him here soon. Oh, okay, we can go higher. 50. Interesting. 60 kilometers away. Okay, 60 kilometers away is when you, your target goes away. But we're going to keep going. We're not going to necessarily know when we're at 75, but we're going to just give it some time. Now, we're not going to have a like any sort of beacon that shows us all right so we need to turn around turn around and we can see our pip right here put that right in the middle we're gonna head back 
Okay, so this should have made the, the NPCs despawn. Our ship needs to slow down and start going forward. We're still moving backwards. There we go. All right. Now we're going forwards again. And eventually you'll see a white dot, which will be the Idris unmanned, means that there's no NPCs. If it's still red, then you did it wrong and you need to redo it. So you're not going to be, so if you end up doing this part wrong and you come back and the Idris is still red and all the other ships are still red, then uh, you're going to have to get out of the area and you're just going to have to get a different critical uh, threat beacon and try it again. We can scan, but I don't know if that's going to help anything. They will just pop up. Um, oh, we got a lot of beacons now. Okay. There we go. You see that white, white blip? That is the Idris. So it looks like it worked. We need to really slow down, though. You'll notice most of the other fleet has uh, disappeared. There's usually two hammerheads, um, sometimes like a uh, caterpillar, uh, and then you have the UEE Navy. They all disappear. And the only thing that's left is the Idris. Sometimes a hammerhead will be there still. So I guess if you wanted it to steal the... Oh, let's see what this is. That is a retaliator. And... Oh, yeah, okay. So we still got... We got the hammerhead still there. The second hammerhead. A third hammerhead. So one of those has to be the UE navies and a cutlass black. Now, one of the, um, the part that took me so long to try to learn this is try to figure out where to have the Idris cockpit line up with your, um, with your physics grid. Because it took a little bit of time to, to learn that. There she be. Do a little flyby first. Actually, I need to move this camera out because I'm going to have to use it to figure out where the hell I'm going. Line things up. Oh, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Is the game uh, is the game still glitchy or has most of the updates they've added help with that? Um, I can speak for me personally. Um, I've had little to no issues with things, but there are people out there that are still experiencing a lot of issues. But the main, the main thing with this patch is to try to get everybody at least the ability to log in. So it'll be, if you still have issues, I would wait till 18.2 comes out because that's when all the real fixes are supposed to come up. We gotta come in nice and slow and have some patience so that way we don't uh, do anything stupid. 
I am definitely clumsy when it comes to my keyboard. I press a lot of wrong buttons. Ooh, that sun. Sun's gonna make it difficult, isn't it? God damn it. I'll go this way. This way's better. I just need to straighten up first, probably. It's probably a better idea. Get completely aligned with the ship. And we'll... So you want to get the cockpit as close to the ground or close to the physics grid as possible without uh hitting anything oh my god that sun that god damn sun that was weird i had the uh look like the loading screen flashed in for a second okay it looks like we need to bring our nose down just a hair So you guys can see, you can see the, um, I can't move the camera in closer, but we can see the two, um, sloped walls that are coming up from the physics grid on, on both sides. You need to have the cockpit kind of in between that, the perfect angle. And you can see I have my nose up too high. I have to slope that down. And we're going to have to go to the left a little bit, go up, slightly tap the keys. Okay. I think we need to come left a little bit. Oh yeah, we need to come left a lot. This is where it's beneficial to have somebody, like, actually out there uh, with a close look, kind of like, ooh, I did not like that. Go right a little bit. Okay, we can go forward. And we can go up. Oof. Okay, I need to go back. All right, something's hitting something. Oh, I see. Okay, now you guys can see how like the bottom of the cockpit is kind of starting to touch my ship and I have that little gap kind of towards the middle. I can uh and you can see how my the ass end of the ship still has some room to go and that cockpit is not close enough down to the uh physics grid. So we need to have our nose down some more. Get the ass end up to close that gap. And then we can go forward. That might be okay. Actually, now there's a gap kind of going towards the back of the cockpit. So I want to move it up a little bit. Just a hair. We could see if this works. That might be iffy. We can see if I can uh, strafe upwards just a little bit. Okay. All right. We can go try this. Oh, but it kind of moved a little bit because I tapped it. Go to the left. This part takes a little bit of patience. Okay, let's go try this. And get out of the pilot seat. Yeah, the sun's terrible. The sun's absolutely terrible. 
You like the uh, retaliator except for the fact it drove like a brick? Yeah. I like it because it reminds me of a submarine. I, uh, I really don't care how it flies, though. I, I don't care. I'll get over it. All right, we need to go to the cartography deck and use the airlock. Oh, man. Hopefully, this will be a good position and we don't have to go back down and move anything. Oh, yeah, we're going to so sell. You guys can see where we're at. We're trying to get this cockpit square in the middle here. And you can see we can clip through and our goal is to jump and accept and kind of like get in there. But I think we're, it needs to come down more because we can't even, we can't even get it to highlight. So we need to come over, we need to come over to the left and bring it in just a tad. I'm doing this by myself so you guys can see, like, you guys can do this by yourselves, too. Relatively easily. And okay, go back down to Habitation Deck. I want you guys to start thinking about what I should do with this thing after I steal it. I'll take, uh, I'll gladly take suggestions and, uh, we'll pick one and go for it. Come left. All right. That is not enough. I think that's good. That might be... That might be good. Oh, Lord. Oh, and come on. Get your shit together, camera. God damn. Maybe I need... A no! No, 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 no. Oh, see? I bumped it. Fuck. God damn it. That's okay. That's all right. We can straighten this out. I need to move the camera back. This needs to come down a lot. That might have been too much. Yep. Bring it up a little bit. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Oh, we touched it. We fucking touched it. Come down just a hair. Go forward. Are we touching anything? We're not. We're still good. What is touching? Oh, I see. Okay, so we need to bring it down. The nose down a little bit. Move forward. Oh. 
We're close. We are so close. Just tap it, tap it. Oh. I need to go left. God damn, I need sunglasses in real life to play this game. <laughs> it's so bright on my monitor. Um, will let me go up a little bit. Yes, it will. Okay, I need to bring the ass down. A hair. I wonder if that'll do it. That almost looks like it might be too... A little bit too much. Okay, alright. That is... Oh, we need to go left. It's hitting the left wall there. Okay. I think I think we can roll to the right a little bit. Fucking hell. Go up. All right. Let's try that. We're not moving, are we? Okay, we're not moving. Good. All right, let's hope we got it this time. How's that looking? Oh man, I do not like that. Son of a bitch. needs to come down to the right straight straighten it out a little bit go to the or go to the left We gotta be careful. I think if we bring, maybe if we bring the nose up a little bit, get in that good position. Mm. 
then man see I just hit it Let's straighten up a little bit. We need to go to the left. And we can bring the ass down or up. That might be okay. I have to roll to the right. Little incremental movements. Oh, that that felt really good. Let's bring the nose up a little bit. And we gotta try to strafe up just a little bit. It needs to get a little bit closer. Okay. That... That feels good. Maybe back up a little bit. That cockpit needs to be almost touching the ground. I think back up. And then raise my nose raise the nose up oh <clears throat> moved Okay, we'll try bringing the ass up a little bit. How's that looking? Okay, I like that. We can't, uh... I'm still kind of skeptical about it. So I'll bring the nose up. The sun, man. The sun is making it so much harder than it needs to be. Okay, we could try it. It's still. Still not enough. up a little bit. We're off to the left. Oh my god. What's it snagging on? What are we getting snagged on? Keeps wanting to drift off to the left to, to the right for some reason. No, don't do that. Don't do that. I don't No, 
goes down. Ugh, I didn't like that. Oh, we touched the ass to... Just takes a little patience. God damn it. Everything wants to keep moving. So we're almost touching the cockpit, but the cockpit needs to come down and the ass needs to come up. Come up a little bit. We need a good middle spot there. We're so close. So close. I think maybe one of our issues is that we're just not straight. Yeah. That's something I didn't really notice. I think that might be our issue. Let's get level. Nose up. We could try that, see what happens. That's kind of iffy, though. It's amazing how just a little tiny incremental change affects everything. Okay, let's try that. I don't want to move it forward a little bit. Oop. See if moving it forward helped. I need to top off before we do this. I need to top off my uh, my health, my hydration, because once you get in, you don't want to get out. You're not gonna be able to drink water or anything. With how fast it's coming down while doing all this, that wouldn't be good. We'd only be able to do a couple things with it. Okay.
All right. Let's see. That's not bad. It actually seems pretty good. This is like the best we've got it so far. Come on. Come on. Now you just gotta spam it. Ooh. Maybe just a little higher, huh? Or we need to we need to get a little lower. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, we need it a little higher or a little lower. We are so close, though. <laughs> We're definitely gonna get it. It's inevitable. It is inevitable. Just really hoping that the blue kind of pops up and accepts it. Okay. All right. Let's reassess. That. It touches that. Which makes it, makes the whole ship move. And then I got to go back to square one. So... Bring it forward some more. And if it lets us bring our ass end up, but I don't know if we got too much headroom there. Hmm. We are so, so close. We're literally like, if we, if we just move the ship, if we can get it up and a little bit closer, maybe just by like an inch or two. The key is to not bump the controls when you do this. It's so easy. Okay, all right. All right, I see what we can do. Move the nose down. Ugh, all right. We just have to strafe up just a little bit. There. Okay, don't, please, please for the love of God. Do not move. Come on, Carrick. Do not move. We can't move forward. We might be able to move forward just a tad. Let's do it. Just lightly tap W. All right. All right. How are we looking on the other side? I... I think that's the closest we're going to get it, honestly. Okay, let's get out of the seat. Don't press any other buttons. <clears throat> I have a good feeling about this one, guys. I really do. I think this is the, uh, the best... Best position we've been in so far. That looks so good. Oh, I like that position. All right, everybody just... And when you're doing this, just take a look at where it's at. You need to get this part as close to the, to the ground as you can. 
without hitting the sides on each one. And I think this is about as best as we got it. Oh, dude. Yes. We got it. I guarantee you. We just need to find the blue. Come on, we have to have it this time. Come on. That's so weird. Oh, I saw the blue guys. Hold on. I, I got it. We're in, guys. We're finally in. We have successfully stolen the Idris. There we go. Check it out. Anybody have any suggestions on where you would like me to, to bring this and do with it? Let me know. Let's check out the cannon. Show you guys the... Uh, Let's up with the cannon. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. We can, uh, we can blow up the hammerheads that are around here. You guys can get a feel of what it's like to shoot this thing. Do not accidentally hit the Y key or else you will lose the, the interest so as you can see there's nothing modeled in the inside absolutely nothing just the uh the pilot seat you have your engines that you can turn off you have the unlock feature power off radar temp um it doesn't look like we got anything else but we have the quantum drive, you can see we have all the points of interest pop up, but we don't have a HUD. When we point at something, you guys can hear it spooling up, and you're going to have to wait and let it spool up. And then just kind of guess, and then hit B. But, uh... Let's see... I don't see any of the markers around anymore. It might have, the server might have uh, got rid of the hammerheads and everything. You can scan. Oh, okay. I see one of the white blips on the bottom. There we go. See, you can target something, but you can't tell what it is. It's not going to tell you what it is. So that's a hammerhead. I could tell by the silhouette. Let's get a little closer so we can see the uh, carnage. You also have a speed limiter and you can set cruise control, but you're going to have to do that by ear instead of actually having to rely on the HUD. We have another hammerhead right there, too. That we can shoot. I'll shoot my ship, too. Why not? I'll shoot the Carrick. I'll line it up, and then I'll go in third person. There it is. We're getting close. Bam. Hammerhead down. It's a good shot. And it's falling apart. I love how like the little pieces break off of the hammerhead. It looks realistic. I love the moons, the way they look right there. Okay, let's shoot this other hammerhead. 
Oh, that's actually telling me the hurricane. Nice. Let's go ahead and shoot that. Nice. It's not giving me... I can't... Oh, there we go. Okay, we can. Oh, also, it takes 20 seconds for the cannon to charge back up. So you have 20 second intervals between you can shoot. So that's that's your downside. Hammerhead number two is down. Let's go ahead and shoot my ship, huh? I forgot I named my Carrick. Let's get closer. What really sucks is you can't really tell how fast you're going unless you targeted something. And then you can you can tell. Like it's telling us we're going 170 milliseconds or miles a second, I guess. Boom. I think that's it for the Carrick. Something I've noticed too is that the cannon gets um, less effective the farther away you get. Oh, maybe that's not done. Oh, we got something else. It is done. It's not letting us target anymore. Boom. All right. Let's see what we got for beacons. We have... So you can make a lot of money doing this. So that one's 18,000. So let's go ahead and do that. Some of these... Some of these get you 200,000 or 300,000. So this is a good way. If you can, uh, you can grab the Idris a lot faster than I did. You can do I'm it. I'm under attack. Please, if you hear this, help me. If you manage to get it down to where you can get the Idris in like 10 minutes or so, you can really use this to grind money fast. Okay, I can't see where the marker's at. So maybe... Um, let me look at my star map, see if it shows up there. There it is. Okay, I can get to it from my star map. So that's good. The downside to this Idris is that the quantuming takes forever. If you go from one side of the system to the other, it takes 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes. All right, let's do some damage. Rescue beacon. Quantum travel complete. Somebody came. My ship's completely offline. Can you cover me while I fix it? Oh, we missed. It's inbound. So the more maneuverable ships, it's going to be harder to target them. But what you want is for them to kind of like aggro onto you. So they kind of like hover Almost around there. your ship. And when they start hovering around your ship, that's the easiest way to actually uh, kill them. So, like, the way he's moving right now, you're not really going to hit him. Unless you're lucky. Contact. 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 
We gotta be careful not to shoot the uh, good guy too. Let's see, did we get him? Contact. Nope, he moved. <laughs> okay, let's fly in a little closer. Let's see if he'll aggro onto Eat us. Friendly down. Uh, we got a friendly. Friendly's down. Contact. This is why you need a uh, some sort of like light fighter Contact. with you when you do these things. All right, hopefully that got him. Nope. It's getting closer. Could always try to ram him, you know? Stop moving there. For some reason. Me now get back here and protect me. Come on. Shoot. All right. One down. That's what you want. You want them to kind of chill out. Oh, barely missed him. That's okay. Oh, he's in a Merlin. He's like in a, it's like an M50 or a Merlin or something. That's, that's why we're having trouble hitting him. Yeah. Oh, he's in a Merlin. Yeah. Come on. Come on. There we go. We want them to target us because they're not going to get through our shields at all. Oh! Oh! See, he's just chilling. Come on. Waiting for it to fire up. It sounds really bad, but he's not taking we're not taking any damage or anything. Come on, shoot. There. All right. Oh, he's not even down. That didn't even kill him. Wow. Head first into a cannon and didn't do anything. That is insane. That is that's definitely a bug. Come on. Just waiting to spool up again. Whoa! That didn't even... That wasn't accurate at all. Alright, let's back up. Yeah, he's moving closer. Wow. I'm upset at that last one. Let's run in. Let's run into him. Now he moved. Oh, he's spinning. I'm gonna target this other guy. I think I think we can get this other guy. Oh yeah, we can get this one. He's not as I think that's a Gladius? I think. If we can bring this around. Oh, that Oh, oh, the desync is bad. Get back here and protect me. Maybe that's why we're having issues. He's doing a good job of evade. <laughs> he stayed away from the cannon. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, we got him. There we go. Now we can focus on this guy again. Okay, we're 2k away from him. So hope that hits. Yep. Alright, we got paid. Thanks. I think we're good. We got 20k from that. So, ooh, 12, sir. Oh, we got a critical. Let's do a critical. Alright, so Idris versus Idris, guys. Idris versus Idris. I really like the uh, the paint scheme. All right, looks like it's not gonna give me the the beacon for it, so I gotta look for it on here. And it's right there, right next to us. That is good. Okay, cool. I was starting to question the, the jump there for a second. So, the Idris during these things, they tend to kind of go off on themselves and not really worry about too too many of the good people somebody came my ship's completely offline can you cover me while i fix it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go after the hammerheads because they are menaces i think that's a hammerhead ahead of us Let's see, did we hit it? Are we gonna hit it? Maybe too far out? Yeah, it doesn't look like we hit anything. Okay. Let's move in. Yeah, we're not that's 9k away. We're not hitting anything of that that far. I think you could you could shoot things from 20k. Uh are any of those I think that's a hammerhead up there. We need to get him because he's targeting. The guys we need alive. Come on, get him. Oh, God, so close. I had it off just a little bit. That's okay. I'm gonna run into him. There's the address. Okay, let's, we should be able to hit him from here. There we go. Looks like we need to hit him again, though. They're not shooting at us, surprisingly. Let it charge up a little bit. Why are they not shooting us? That's crazy. Trying to make us fail this mission, that's why. Come on, fire. Fire! There. Okay, one hammer head down. Where's this other one? This other one's right here to the left.
Almost ready. There we go. One shot. Good. Who's this? What what is this? Probably something I, I should save maybe for last. Let's get closer so he can aggro onto us, maybe. UE is doing a good job of Oh, they got him. Nice. UE is not useless after all. Alright, let's go ahead and get this Idris. Now this Idris, uh, it takes five or six shots from the cannon to kill the Idris. That sun's not doing it for me. And we hit it. Oh, I'm gonna hit you twice as hard. Just your weight. So we're getting 300k for this. And we're almost done. Get yeah, back here and protect me. Come on. See how the edge just likes to like stay by by on its own. Bam. It's gonna take a hell of a lot more than that to put me down. Two shots. So we got four left. Let's down. You guys want good? Oh, this is a great time to have salvage too. If you got friends, failed. All right, I guess I failed the uh, the mission. I either went too far from the guys I was protecting. I think that's what it was, because no one's shooting at him. Let's go ahead and kill this guy first. And you don't got to worry about the turrets. The guy, the other Idris's turrets is not I'm going to get through our shields. That's okay. We could do another one. But this is a great opportunity if you have friends that like to salvage. Um, they'll have two hammerheads and an Idris. Go for. Alright, three more shots. And then he should be dead. If you keep strafing around them, they're not going to be able to lock their cannons onto you. Yeah, we get one or two more shots and he'll be down. Should get him this time. This last shot. That should do it. No? Wow. Wait for it to charge up. That should do it. No. See, okay, there's I'm something, hit you twice as hard. something going on because it shouldn't take this many shots. Because I killed, I killed uh, at least a dozen Id Idrises yesterday with this thing and it only took six shots but this is like taking eight 
eight or nine, which is crazy. All right, there we go. Finally, it's done. Woo, we're gonna ram it. Nope, I think we're good. Sun kind of ruins the shot, huh? Damn. Okay. All right, so we got... Oh, we didn't get anything for that. Damn. We got another critical we could do. We could try this. Th that gives us another 300,000. So let's try it. I think we're going to have to probably go to it on here. But you can see how this, you can make some good money doing this. It's not going to let me. Okay, we got it here. So that's all that matters. Something I didn't realize is that there's actually a, um, can't really see it because of the shadows. Oh, this on the bottom right here. I think it'll say it if we get close enough. But my con, that's amazing. I need some help mopping up these bastards. Anyways, it should say guys, on my scope. Argo, Argo hangar somewhere down there. I don't know. We got to start targeting these guys, though. All right. We got the Idris over there. We need to get... We got to try not to stray away this time. We need to get closer before we shoot. So, yeah. Do not move away from this guy or else they, he starts complaining. That might miss. That missed. Oh, All right. Shit. Getting closer. What's this Idris doing over here? He's coming around. It looks like he's going straight for our dude, huh? All right. I'm not going to let him one shot our guy. Okay, we hit him. Let's hope it doesn't take nine shots this time. Oh, I'm gonna hit you twice as hard. Oh, Just he's coming wait. in fast. Oh, he's shooting. He's shooting. Point blank range. Let's go. Got him. Me now get back here and protect me. See, he's he's complaining because I'm getting too far away from him. So don't get past nine or eight thousand me meters away from the person you're protecting. 
come on. There we go. Bam. If the AI actually worked for the, like if they were actually good pilots for the Idris, we'd be in trouble. Fire! That's three. Oh, we got a 30k. Oh no, guys. Oh, no. Well, there you have it, everybody. I'm not going to go through the trouble of uh, stealing another one. So, but the, the whole purpose of this uh, stream was to show you guys how to steal the Idris. So, I hope it helps. I'll put timestamps in the description. So, come back in maybe like 10, 20 minutes. And that way you guys can jump back and see if there's anything that you need to know but thank you guys for hanging out i appreciate it i hope uh i hope it wasn't too boring <laughs> of a stream we had some rough moments in the beginning but we managed to get the idris we managed to do some uh missions and we managed to 30k so other than that the patch is a decent patch at least from my perspective so hopefully it goes pretty well for you guys. Um, I'm going to be streaming again here in the next couple days. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thank you guys for coming in and chatting with me. Hanging out. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.